Baker's mom? Elaine, always a pleasure to see you. <laughs> Thanks again for taking care of that dog for us. Elaine, oftentimes in life there are problems, and just as often there are solutions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose. Elaine, you don't seem yourself today. You seem, if I may say, troubled. <laughs> no, Rabbi, I'm not myself. Come upstairs. We'll have a talk. <laughs> I'm not a very religious person, but um, I do feel as if I'm in need of some guidance here. Would you care for a snack of some kind? <laughs> I have these snack wells, which are very popular, although I think sometimes with these so-called fat-free cookies, people may overindulge, forgetting that they may be high in calories. No, no. Thank you. I'm, I'm not very hungry. Anyway, um... <clears throat> this friend of mine, uh, George, got engaged. How wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> for some reason, um, well, I find myself just overcome with feelings of jealousy and resentment. Doesn't it give you any joy to see your friend enter into this holiest of unions? No, 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 it doesn't. <laughs> No joy, no joy whatsoever. Just the whole thing makes me sick. No, Elaine. Very often, we cannot see the forest for the trees. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Well, for example, say there's a forest. Yeah, see, the thing is, we have I. It, it should have been me. You know, I'm smart. I'm, I'm attractive. You know, my temple has many single functions. Oh, no, that's okay. My nephew, Alex, is someone who's also looking. Perhaps some could No, I, I, I don't think so. He owns a flower store. Very successful. Good evening, Rabbi. Good evening. And how does this evening find you? Well, Rabbi, well. I trust you're here to see your friend Elaine. Yeah, that's right. I hope she's feeling better. What do you mean? She didn't tell you? No. Well, it seems the engagement of her friend George has left her feeling bitter and hostile. Is that so? Oh, yes. In fact, she told me that she wishes she was the one who was getting married. Really? She came off as pretty desperate. I didn't know any of this. Apparently, she doesn't think much of this George fellow either. I recall the word loser peppered throughout her conversation. Hmm. Well, this all comes as news to me that magazine article for you. You know, I had a little uh, talk with the rabbi outside. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand uh, you had a little talk with him, too. Yeah, we talked earlier. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> what does that mean? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> he didn't mention... Yes, he did. He told you about the conversation? Oh, we had quite a little chat. He told you about Yes, it? about how you were very jealous of George, how you wish you were getting married instead of him. He told you that? How could he? And it didn't take much prodding either, I have to say. Can he do that? He did. But he's a rabbi. How can a rabbi have such a big mouth? That's what's so fascinating. Oh, Elaine, come in, come in. So nice to see you again. Yeah. Can I offer you some kasha varnishkas? No, no. Listen, Rabbi, I'd like to ask you a question. Why? Why did you tell my friend Jerry what I talked to you about? Was that a problem for you? Of course it was a problem for me. You, you, didn't, you didn't tell anyone else about this, did you? Well, let's see. <laughs> I seem to recall a conversation with Mrs. Winston in 1F. Hmm. Mrs. Winston? Yes, we were waiting for our mail to arrive, and I happened to mention to her how you felt it was never going to happen for you. What about Don Ramsey? You didn't mention anything to him, did you? Don Ramsey? You know that tall, really good-looking guy who lives on the fifth floor? Oh, him! Well, this morning I happened to find myself in the elevator with him. Oh, my God, you didn't. The prophet Isaiah tells us that without friends, our lives are empty and meaningless. Wait, wait, hello, oh, oh. That's the rabbi from Elaine's building. I just met this guy the other day. <laughs> a young lady I know. Let's call her Elaine. <laughs> happened to find herself 
overwhelmed with feelings of resentment and hostility for her friend. Let's call him George. <laughs> she felt that George was somewhat of a loser and that she was the one who deserved to be married first. She also happened to mention to me that her friend had wondered if going to a prostitute while you're engaged is considered cheating. <laughs> His feeling was, they're never going to see each other again, so what's the difference? <laughs> but that is a subject for another sermon. Now, I'd like to close with a song. <laughs>